and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the new Milk Holographic Lip Glosses. If you do want to see a review and a demo, please keep watching. So this is going to be a really quick review. I just saw these on Sephora.com and they retail for $24 each. Um, so I'm super intrigued on how these go on because sometimes the holographic lip glosses are very streaky and they don't really look holographic. They only had two shades. Um, the two shades that I did pick up were Supernova and Mars. And these are what the two shades look like. And this beautiful packaging. I love Milk's packaging. It's very simple. I love this holographic detail on the packaging. It's so cute too. And this is 0.32 ounces or 9 grams each. So when you open it up, it does come with a little doe foot applicator. I'm just going to swatch this on the back of my hand like I always do. This is the shade Supernova right here. It's so beautiful and holographic. Wow, that's really pretty. Let's just see what this looks like on my lips. This is what the shade Supernova looks like on my lips. So I did mention earlier that it was a doe foot applicator, but it really isn't. It's got this unique shape to it. It's got like this double-sided flat end. It's so unique. I like this shape actually. It's not that regular doe foot applicator. Here we have the shade Supernova currently on my lips. It didn't really cover anything, so it is sheer. So just so you guys know, if you want to pick this up, um, it is going to be a little bit sheer on your lips. But I do like this. It's very unique and I don't have a lip gloss like this. So I'm just going to remove this off. Just a dry paper towel to see if it will still stain my lips or anything. And it did leave a little bit of glitter specks left over. So I'm going to be using um, just a regular makeup remover wipe. And then we're going to try the next shade again. I did try to remove the lip gloss with a makeup wipe. And it did still leave some glitter specks on my lips. I'll zoom you guys in again so you guys can take a look. It did leave some glitter specks on my lips. As you guys can see which I don't mind at all I happen to love glitter so it doesn't really bother me but the only thing that bothers me is if a lip product stains my lips actually that we are gonna be trying on is the shade Mars have this beautiful holographic packaging which I love and when you open it up you have this cute little unique applicator so this is the shade Mars right here this is such a pretty color as well I love both of these shades, to be honest. Let's see what this looks like on the lips. This is what the shade Mars looks like on my lips. I like the shade Mars better because this you can actually wear on a day-to-day -day basis, whereas Supernova, you can't really wear every day. You can only wear that maybe on special occasions. I mean, you can if you want. You can rock any lip gloss. For me, Mars would be the most wearable shade, in my opinion. Since this is a lip gloss, I would have to wear something underneath it. I really do like these milk products overall. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you guys can take a look, closer look on what the shade Mars looks like on my lips. So this is what the shade Mars looks like on my lips once again. And it looks like I'm not really wearing anything on my lips. It just looks like I'm wearing a clear gloss. But... I really happen to like this color and see as I was telling you guys earlier on the previous lip gloss supernova that you guys can see my lips peeking through as well if you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please do subscribe I will see you guys in my next video